Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Muhammad Sufyan, uh, and in this tutorial, I'm going to cover about you know right concerns. Though I have covered uh, 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 about right concern in my previous video, but uh, because I'm going to show you a demo about you know changing the right concerns and how basically it impacts and uh, you know uh, uh, how and in what scenarios do we uh, change right concern and in what cases should we change right concern so right now I'm connected to my primary I have three instances running MongoDB in my virtual environment uh, two are the MongoD instance and one is the arbiter uh, one of my secondary is down so let me just bring it up quickly in the meantime let me show you my replication status so it will be easy so as you can see uh, from from this output uh, the current instance where I connected is a primary the another instance which I just restarted or, or started is secondary and the third one is an arbiter um, now I hope you know what arbiter is if not then arbiter is uh, something like you know uh, a, a monitoring service which you know monitors uh, who is the primary and who is the secondary and whenever requires uh, to vote to bring any of the instance uh, a primary uh, arbiter plays a role in that and you know vote uh, uh, for it so let's just suppose if you have two instances and an arbiter like in my case right now if my primary goes down uh, the majority of the votes, whoever gets, or any of the server who gets the majority of the votes will become primary. Uh, remember that arbiter uh, will never become primary. It is just to vote and monitor. Uh, so in case my primary goes down, the arbiter vote will go to secondary and the secondary has one vote. So the secondary will have two votes and the secondary will become primary. And whenever my primary will come up, uh, you know arbiter will make him a secondary and if there are any uncommitted transactions or the transactions which never made it to secondary will be rolled back so don't think that you know if my primary goes down and there are 10 records which need to be replicated to secondary and my primary is down now will I get my second my primary data onto my secondary if if it is not acknowledged onto secondary it will never be there and you will lose those transactions. Anyways, let's move forward with this. Now, let me quickly show you my, uh, you know, RS config. So, if you see my RS config, uh, I have set the default right concerns right now. So, in my right concerns, what happens is, uh, if you are inserting, updating, or you know, uh, ups, uh, upsetting or deleting any any record from from the shell or from the client. Uh, you know, it is not going to wait for any acknowledgement from your secondary. It is just you know, it will insert it and get the acknowledgement from the primary and move on. Now, uh, let me quickly show you by you know, uh, shutting down my secondary instance um, and just inserting one of the record onto primary. So let's just suppose this is this is I'm going to make make an insert uh, with the right concern word and no timeout value set. So let me insert it and you will see my one record has been inserted. Okay. Now this will only make it if I bring the secondary out. If I'm not going to bring the secondary up, this transaction is not going to make it to you know on the secondary server and you know even though if I format my secondary instance or and or rebuild it. Uh, 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 MongoD instance will not be concerned, even though the replication won't be concerned. But if you if you change the right concern from one to two, means that you need an acknowledgement from another server. Okay, then only you know uh, you will be able to proceed further. Now, let me quickly show you how basically my you know secondary. Let me bring the secondary up. In the meantime, let me grab my config in a variable. So that we can change so I got the config wonderful and now I'm going to change
I'm going to change it from 1 to 2 and I will just change the timeout to 5000 milliseconds. Uh, I have to enforce my config so I will say reconfig and my variable values and here it goes. Now let me quickly show you if it has taken the effect or not. So if you see my you know right concern is 2 and W timeout is 5000. Now let me insert a record okay. I'm going to insert a record. This record has inserted and it will reach to my secondary as well. Now, in case my secondary is down, how basically it will you know impact. Now I'm I'm going to insert another record and you will see that it is this particular transaction is going to wait for 5000 milliseconds and then it will throw an error. Now, though it has inserted the record into my primary, but it gave a write consent error that you know I tried to insert the record in secondary within the timeout period but you know the secondary is not available and it will give you an error message as you know, waiting for replication timed out. So this is how basically the right concern works. Uh, the moment I will bring this up let's do it quickly okay my instance is up now I'm going to insert the record and you know it will just insert on both the side and get an acknowledgement. So th this is how basically you know things work.